In this video, let us see how to write the Verilog code for 8 is to 1 multiplexer in behavioral style of modeling. So on right hand side of your screen, you can observe the block diagram and uh, truth table of 8 is to 1 multiplexer. So here 8 is to 1 is nothing but 8 inputs, 1 output. And it contains 3 selection lines. Why? Because as there are 8 inputs, 8 can be written as 2 power 3. So 3 selection lines are H2, S1, H0. Coming to inputs are from D0 to D7 and Y is the output. Next, coming to the truth table, as there are three selection lines, we need to write as H2, S1, H0, Y is the output. Now, depending upon the selection lines, a particular input will be connected to the output. It means if I apply 0, 0, 0 at selection line H2, S1, H0, as 0, 0, 0 is nothing but equivalent 0, this particular D0 will be connected to the output Y. Next, if I apply 0, 0, 1 here, which is nothing but 1, now D1 will be connected to the output. Next, if I apply 0, 1, 0, which is nothing but equivalent to D2 will be connected to the output. So that's the reason output is nothing but D2. Next, for 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 is nothing but equivalent 3. So D3 will be connected to the output. So D3 is the output. Similarly, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0 is nothing but 4. So D4 will be the output. 101 is 5, so D5 will be the output. 110 is 6, so D6 will be the output. 111 is 7, so D7 will be the output. So the simple thing here, depending upon the equivalent that you are applying, this particular input will be connected to the output. So selection line will select a particular input and it will connect it to the output. Now suppose if you want to write the Boolean expression for this particular truth table, so we are considering the SOP form. In SOP, 0 is treated as bar and 1 is, should be written in normal format. So if I want to write the equivalent for this part, so 0, 0, 0 means it should be written as H2 bar, S1 bar, H0 bar and output is nothing but D0. So you can observe here H2 bar, S1 bar, H0 bar and D0. Similarly for 0, 0, 1. So 0 is nothing but bar. So H2 bar, S1 bar, H0, D1. Next for the third case, as 0 is there. So H2 bar, S1, H0 bar and output is nothing but D2. If you want to apply the fourth combinations of input, as the equivalent is 0, 1, 1 and output is D3. So here the 0 is nothing but bar. So it should be written as H2 bar, S1, H0 and output will be D3. Next for the fifth combination of input 1, 0, 0, which is nothing but H2, S1 bar, H0 bar, D4. Similarly, 1, 0, 1. So it should be written as H2, S1 bar, H0, D5. Next, H2, S1, H0 bar, D6. This one will be H2, S1, H0, D7. So that's what I wrote in the form of Boolean expression. The simple Y is nothing but summation of all the results that you got. A simple point you need to remember here is if it is 0, put a bar. If it is 1, there is no complement. So now based on this, we need to draw the logic diagram. So if you observe here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 AND gates will be there followed by 1 OR gate. And as there are 3 selection lines, you may get three not gates. So this is the logic diagram of 8 is to 1 multiplexer, which contains three not gates, eight AND gates, and one OR gate. So the expression which you got should be implemented in the form of logic diagram. Now, for writing the code in behavioral style of modeling, there is no need of this particular logic diagram. Suppose if you want to write the code in gate level modeling, then this particular logic diagram plays an important role. Now, simply based upon the truth table, we can write the behavioral style of modeling. So we shall write the Verilog code in Xilinx. So in order to do that, open ISC Design Suite 14.7. Next, click on File. Click on New Project. Give a name to your project. So I'm giving name as Mux 8 cross 1. So the name of my project is Mux 8 cross 1 underscore using underscore behavioral modeling. So addition multiplexer using behavioral style of modeling. Now choose the location where you want to save. So I'll choose SuccessM DHD will have execution. Click on OK. And here, uh, top level source type should be HDL, which is nothing but hardware description language. Click on next, next and finish. Now, a blank project is created by the name Max ad to one using behavioral modeling. Now, right click on it, new source. We need to write the source code. For that, choose Verilog module, give the file name. So my file name is Max 8 cross one using behavioral modeling. Click on next, next and finish. So here we need to write our particular very log code. So if you observe the logic diagram, which is present on right side of your screen, check the outputs followed by input. So module, module name, next comes port list. In port list, output is Y, input is D, followed by S. Next comes port declaration. So port declaration is nothing but among Y, 
D and S, which one you are considering as output and which one you are considering as input should be indicated here. So here, output is Y coming to input. So if you observe as there are eight inputs are there, so vector payoff declaration should be given here. So input seven down to zero D indicates D of zero, D of one, D of two, D of three, D of four, D of five, D of six, and D of seven. Next input, as there are three selection lines, it should be written as two down to zero. This will be S. So better if you want to use capital, use capital, or else you can go with all these small letters. So simply I'm following the representation that I have followed in my particular block diagram. We need to write the logic in behavioral style of modeling. In behavioral modeling, always remember one point, always output should be declared as register, means a keyword reg should be added if you are declaring any output you can write like this reg output is y always at the rate so whenever there are changes in the values of d and s the following block of code should get executed so always at the rate ds and following case statement whenever there is a case there should be end case remember this point so case s so it is three tick b000 as there are three selection line each and every selection line will have three bit combinations of input means h2 s1 h0 so for 000 output y is equal to d of zero simply check this particular truth table for 000 i'm getting output as d0 for three tick binary 001 output y is equal to d of 1 same thing for the remaining combinations also for 0 1 0 output will be d2 for 0 1 1 output will be d3 for 1 0 0 output is d4 for 1 0 1 output will be d5 for 1 1 0 output will be d6 and for 1 1 1 output will be d7 if not the default dollar display this particular line is optional if you want you can add it or else you can delete so line number 39 is optional if you want you can add it or else you can delete it so here dollar display is used to print the result means suppose if all conditions are false and this particular thing is getting executed line number 39 then add statement by the name invalid will get printed and whenever there is a case there should be end case and whenever there is a module there should be end module for simple module module name port list output is y inputs are 7 down to 0 d inputs are 2 down to 0 s in behavioral style of modeling output should be declared as register always at the rate d s case for 0 0 0 output is d naught for 0 0 1 it is d 1 0 1 0 d 2 0 1 1 is d 3 1 0 0 is d 4 1 0 1 is d 5 1 1 0 is d 6 1 1 1 is d 7 if not this particular statement will get printed whenever there is a case there should be end case and whenever there is a module there should be end module so this is our source code of 8 h one multiplexer using behavioral style of modeling. Now click on control S so that it will get saved. Now double click on synthesis. If there are any errors, you can see here an error window and warnings will be displayed here. Check the console window. So synthesis completed successfully. Elaborate. Click on view RTL schematic. So a block diagram, you can see it, which is nothing but RTL schematic, register transfer level. You can double click to see the internals. So if you double click it, you can view the internal. Next, similarly, view technology schematic. So here in the form of LUTs, it will be displayed. IBUF is input buffer, OBUF is output buffer, LUT stands for lookup table. So this is the technology schematic. So once we are done with writing source code, we need to test this particular module by writing test bench. In order to do that, right click, new source, choose very log text picture. File name should be mux 80 to one using behavioral style of modeling underscore TB. TB stands for test bench. Click on next, next and finish. So a template will be created directly. So module, module name, inputs will be treated as registers, outputs will be treated as wires, and this is nothing but UUT, which is unit under test. Means simply I'm instantiating the particular source code which I want to test. Next initial begin. So I will add I will add dollar monitor statement to see the result in console window. Dollar monitor, dollar time. So output is Y, inputs are D and S. Output Y is equal to percentile B, which is nothing but binary. Similarly, D is binary s is also a binary next initially the values of d and s are zero now simply i'll add an always statement to give few more input always and for every 10 nanoseconds of delay d is equal to d plus one always for every five nanoseconds of delay s is equal to s plus one save it now choose simulation here elaborate ISIM simulator double click on behavioral check center click on simulate behavioral model click on zoom to full view you can adjust this inputs and outputs properly so now let us analyze this particular wave when selection lines are 0 0 0 output should be d naught so if you observe here the value of d naught here is 0 so that's the reason I'm getting output as 0 next similarly for 0 0 1 for 0 0 1 d1 value will be printed at the output 
So here, if you observe the second bit index D one is also zero, so that the reason output is one. Now let us pick some different value. So see this. When selection line is zero one zero, zero one zero is nothing but two. So D two should be the output. So if you observe the D two value, so D two value is zero here. So output is zero. Now let us analyze this one. For selection line zero one one, zero one one is nothing but D three. So if you observe the value of D three is one. So this one will be seen at the output. I mean, selection line will connect that particular D three to the output T here. When selection line is one one one, which is nothing but D seven, the value of D seven is zero. So that zero is the output. Next, when selection line is one zero zero, which is nothing but D four, so the value of D four is one. So the same output you can see it in the form of waveform as well as here also you can see it in the form of console window. So let me open this in Notepad. So randomly I'll pick one value. So let us see this one. At Four one five nanosecond selection line is zero one one, which is nothing but three. So this is D of zero, D of one, D of two, D of three. D of three is one. So the same output you can see, which is nothing but one. So this is how you can see the working of eight is one multiplexer if you write the code in behavioral style of model. The important thing which you need to remember is you need to know about the truth table. So there is no need of logic diagram if you are writing the code in behavioral style of model.